Hi guys, welcome back to Caterpillar Cross Stitch. I am super excited for today's video as I'm going to be sharing with you some stocking filler gift ideas. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Sean, and here on this channel we upload weekly cross stitching related videos and we would love for you to join this community by hitting the subscribe button and clicking on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you enjoy this video and want to see more Christmas content then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. So it's that time of year where we start to think about Christmas and getting everything planned and organised ready for Christmas Day. I really hope that you find something in this video that you could potentially buy for your stitchy friend or family or even a little cheeky gift for yourself. So let's jump right in with one of my favourite gifts to receive and that is the needle minder. Now these really do make for a perfect gift as there are so many designs to choose from and they really are something that every stitcher should have. For those of you who don't know what a needle minder is, they are a little magnet which attaches to your fabric and holds your needle safe and secure in place so you don't lose it. Now here at Caterpillar Cross Stitch, there are many designs to choose from and some of the needle minders actually match Sally's designs. Having a matching needle minder to your pattern really does add to the experience and really makes it a joy to work with. Now each of the Caterpillar Cross Stitch needle minders comes in a little pocket, but there is also the option to buy one of the little pouches, which is perfect for the needle minder and perfect for a stocking. Next up we have a thread holder but not just any holder, we have the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Christmas Tree Thread Holder. This is one of the cutest thread holders I have seen and I think this would make for a perfect gift for somebody stitching a new project over the Christmas period. This holder is made by acrylic and it measures at nine centimeters wide and 12 centimeters high. There are 15 holes available on this holder, perfect for a small to medium sized project and each hole does fit a full skein. We recently uploaded a how to make a cross stitch coaster and I think this would make for a really unique gift as you could personalise it for the recipient. It's small, perfect for a stocking but really impactful as it's handmade and I feel like we all love to receive handmade Christmas gifts. If you have stitched the Hello Dear seasonal tree then you could utilise one of the motifs, maybe the robin and turn that into a coaster. If you want to learn about how to make a cross stitch coaster, then check out the link in the description box down below. The next one is new stationery. I love stationery, especially as a stitcher, as I like to mark off my pattern when working from a hard copy so I don't lose my place. Now, I really like to use these mechanical pencils but I know a lot of you like to use highlighters and when I saw these pastel ones, I knew I had to feature them in the video as they are super cute. So I think stationery is a really good one, especially if you know somebody who stitches from a hard copy pattern. Moving on to the next item and this is a little tool which I find really helpful and that is the Snag Nabbit. Now this would be perfect for someone who might be new to cross stitching and is currently building up their stitchy tools. This featured in our last video, What's in my project bag, because I love it. It helps to get rid of any unwanted threads that have been pulled through the back and this really helps to push them back down, keeping the front neat and tidy. I think this would make a really cute little stocking filler for anyone who doesn't have it in their stash. Staying with the essential tools, we have the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Embroidery Scissors. Every cross stitcher needs a pair of scissors and just like needle miners, they are definitely something we need more than one of. Now these come in different colours and also come with a safety cap which I think is great. These really do cut really crisp and precise through the threads as the blades are super sharp helping to glide through the thread. I think these would make for a really nice gift. Next up we have Fancy Floss. Now Fancy Floss such as over dyed threads or variegated threads do tend to be more expensive than your standard DMC. So I think this would make for a really nice gift, especially if your stitching recipient, a friend or family hasn't used them before, or even if they have, I think it would be a great gift to help with building up a stash. Now there are different things that you can do with threads. You could buy them and wrap them individually. You could make them into a daily advent calendar, 
or you can do what I'm showing here in that you could create a little bundle and add it into a little gift bag perfect to slot into a stocking. Many of us like to fully finish our cross stitching into little ornaments. So I thought it'd be a really nice idea to create a little finishing bundle. Now there are different things that you could include in a finishing bundle. I'm gonna share with you some of my favorites just to give you some ideas. First up is some 100% cotton fabric. Now this would be perfect for backing any cross stitching and with it being this gorgeous red I think this would be perfect for a Christmas related finish. The next up is some ribbon and rickrack. These do really add some perfect little touches just to bring out the stitching whether it's the colours or whether it's just to really give it that special finish look. You can get all sorts of different types, different sizes, different colors, and you could even individually wrap these. Next up, we have pom-pom trims. Now you can get all sorts of different colors, different sizes, and it really is effective when finishing a piece that you have stitched. Now, I really like the Lady Dot Creates pom-pom trim, as you can actually separate the pom-poms from the edging, meaning that you can hand stitch it onto, say for instance, a pillow. So I think this would really make for a great little gift in a finishing bundle. My last suggestion in a finishing bundle would be a finishing hoop. Now you can get all sorts of different shapes and sizes, but I really like these small, hoops because they make for really nice little ornaments especially at Christmas time and if you add, if you're adding in some pom-pom trims and some fabric it would really make for a full set. My last stocking filler to share with you guys today is something that I've seen so many of you use and it's actually new to me I love them, they are great. And that is the magnet fabric holders. Now these come in different sizes, different colors, and essentially what they are is something that helps to keep that extra fabric that you don't need when stitching out of your way. As you can see here in this, in this example, if I was stitching this in the hoop, it just keeps the fabric neat and tidy, all tucked away, and I think these would make for a great gift. So they are all of my stocking filler gift ideas. I hope you have found something in the video to help you this year with buying for Christmas. Now there is going to be another video coming out shortly and that is gonna be featuring more bigger gift ideas. So I really hope you find that one useful. If you have any other stocking filler gift ideas that I haven't featured in this video, Make sure to leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you guys so that we can share all the ideas together. So that's it from me. I hope you have enjoyed this video and until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.